Hey, what is up guys, it's Zero here, and I'm showing you a quick tutorial on how to download and install Halo Online due to popular request. Um, let's go ahead and get right into this. It's actually pretty simple. Um, I'll also show you guys how to download the mods. Now, for those who are unfamiliar, Halo Online is a, uh, or was, a free-to-play Russian version of Halo. Halo 3, I guess. It's a, uh, it's a new Halo that was built in the Halo 3 engine and they used newer models and they added basically sprint and assassinations um, but something to know that the original game closed in Russia and it they were talking about bringing it to the US or whatever but I don't think that's gonna happen since the original game closed and it didn't even last that long um, very early on they made a mistake of uploading the actual like raw game file or some shit I'm not really sure how it worked but they uploaded that to the website and then modders was able to get a hold of it and they brought it to us now this game is hosted by modders basically um, there's the L Dorito development team basically and th those are the ones who are running the US version actually the only version as far as I'm aware of so Let's go ahead and go to the El Dorito website. This is not the official website for El Dorito. Um, this, I don't know exactly why it's on here. I think someone just made it for, uh, to make it easier for people. You just go over here to the El Dorito, go down to download, download for Mediafire. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Now this might take a while for me because I'm on some slow internet speeds right now. Maybe I already have it downloaded to make it easier. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So, once that's done downloading... No, shit, stop. When that is done downloading, you want to go to your download folder and go to the game. Where the fuck did it go? God, I need to clean out my download folder. I don't even know what I have this shit is. Oh, right here. Okay, so you want to double-click on that. And then you need to extract it to wherever you want it to be. Um, you can extract it on your desktop or you can go into the uh, local file program 60 or program x6 ugh, I can't speak program x86 there we go that's where I put mine but for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and uh, extract it to my desktop I am I apologize that I can't speak I haven't done a commentary in a little while now so um, bear with me Okay, now that that is done, you want to go into your download folder again. Um, well, hang on a sec. I didn't mean to off the website. You want to go to, um, stay on the El Dorito website. You want to go to the FMM over here. This is for all the mods. I don't recommend downloading and installing any mods if um, you don't really have a capable computer. Uh, reason being is because Halo Online is extremely unoptimized. I don't know if it's because of all the mods and stuff, or if it's just the way things were put together. I have no idea. But either way, I do know that mods will affect performance. So I actually minimized the amount of uh, mods that I have on there because I kept getting frame lag or FPS lag, and it was due to how many mods I had installed. I will show you the main mods that I think you will need and I wouldn't get any more unless you uh, really want them or you know your PC can handle it. Uh, keep in mind that I had, let's see, like 10 to 15 mods installed, which is kind of insane, but um, you'll see why I had that many installed. And I'm running a uh, 6700K, an i7, uh, and a GTX 1070, and I was experiencing frame lag, so the game is pretty pretty bad at being optimized so you want to click uh, download FMM right here and then you'll want to go to your download folder which it'll be right here stop okay it'll be right here 
and you want to drag that into the El Dorito folder. Now once you do that, you open up this. Um, first, what I would do is click Dorito Updater. Open that up and make sure that this is up to date. It should be 0.5.1.1. Um, if you're watching this in the future, I believe within a few weeks, maybe three to a month, somewhere around there, 0.6 is going to be out and it'll have all new uh, uh, GUI and shit like that or UI or whatever you want to call it. They're updating a bunch of shit. So I guess in the future, just watch out for 0.6 or even later on down the road. Uh, but that's going to be a while. So let's see here. So if you want to set up um, a server, you just go into the settings and you type whatever you want here. Make sure that you port forward. Um, if you guys want to figure out how to host a server, just let me down. Let me know in the uh, comments down below. I'll show you guys how to port forward and uh, what ports to forward. And it's, it's actually really simple. And then right down here, you can have sprint enabled or assassinations enabled. So a lot of people don't. They don't have either of these enabled. Um, I think sprint just you go way too fast on such small maps it just wasn't designed for it because these are Halo 3 maps and it wasn't designed for having sprint uh, I don't know why people disable assassinations because I kind of like them but I don't know whatever it doesn't matter so basically most of the servers are making this game a lot like Halo 3 um, if you like Halo 3 that's great good for you what this update Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew that. So here is where you pick your username. You just pick anything. Um, and if you launch the game, which I am not going to do right here and not in this one. Um, but if you launch the game on the main menu, you can uh, alt tab out and bring this up. And then if you change this gear, it'll change your gear live on the uh, in the game. Okay, so now that we got that all the way, um, your El Dorito is working and everything. Let's go into the FF the, the, the FMM mods or fishery support. Blah, blah. Okay, so here's the downloadable mods tab. You want to go there, and then we'll have a big list of uh, all the mods. You can download anything from Halo 3 weapons, Halo 3 armor, to Halo Reach weapons, and then uh, all that kind of shit. So I would first recommend getting the brightness fix. If you're playing on a lower graphic settings, I believe it gets pretty bright. As you see right here in this image, this is what your map will look like. It is uh, really ridiculous. I don't know why. And then down here was is what it will be like afterwards. So, get the brightness fix. Um, I downloaded all the uh, Halo Reach weapons. And I downloaded the Halo 3 armor. Because I'm not a huge fan of the Halo 4 armor that's already in the game. They just used the uh, models from Halo, uh, Halo 4. And then once you do this... Oh, I also did hexagon black, but you don't really need to do that. That's just the uh, the texture underneath the armor. Um, I don't know if it matters if you have Halo Three armor installed. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. Where is Halo Three armor? I don't see it. It's probably right in front of my face. Oh, it's right here. Yep, okay. So, that's pretty much all you'll need. I mean, if you have any other issues, they do have some fixes in here. Um, but, like, this is the main thing. This is all I downloaded. Really, you don't even need to change any of this. I just like the Halo Reach weapons more than the Halo 4 weapons because that's what they ported over. So then once you do that, you got all your mods checked, whatever ones you want. Um, I don't recommend the helmet effects one. It's, I thought it was going to be kind of cool, but I don't know. It just, it didn't turn out very well, I don't think. Anyways, 
click download check mods then it'll go through this process I'll just speed it up so you guys won't have to sit through it okay now that the mods are in are not installed now that the mods are downloaded it's time to install them so you just click OK you click down here at close log and then you go over to my mods tab and this is where your downloaded mods appear you just check the ones that you want I'm just gonna do this one so that way I can hurry up and uh, get this tutorial over with you click apply check mods yes now it's going through this process and once this is done then you're all set you start the game and everything will be uh, peachy hopefully if you do have any issues with it it does save a backup so once this gets done I'll show you what I mean actually it's doing it right now as you can see it's doing the file backup and now it's installing the mod it does that file backup in case you know like anything goes wrong and you need to revert back to it I'll show you how to revert back to it as soon as this is done okay click OK click close log alright you just click that and then you click apply check mods since none are applied it'll just revert back to your save that's it there's the tutorial um, if you have any questions just leave a comment down below if you want to know how to host a server uh, leave a comment down below I will show you how to do that uh, they do have dedicated servers um, but not everyone can get them I will be hosting my own I just got in contact with the developer he's gonna give me the things I need to do so so look out for that I'll put a website down below that uh, is a link to my server website I guess I don't know it's more of a community website I'm gonna have it to where I host several servers across different games and all that shit so I don't know it'll be pretty cool you can sign up on the forums if you want to and post some shit Anyways, it's been Zero, guys. Peace out.